through the heel counter. Okay, the sun is out. Let's go. Brooks Glycerin 18 arriving on the channel. There they are. Oh yeah, nice and blue. I love it. All right, let's lace up. Okay, and just look it on the bright side. You know how, and it is bright out right now. Look it on the bright side uh, with everything happening in the world. At least I can still communicate with all of you through YouTube in this, uh, this new phrase that I learned this week, and probably you did as well, social distancing. Hadn't heard that before until uh, just a couple days ago so at least I can still uh, we can still go out and run and test shoes for you and hopefully communicate uh, how the shoes are treating me so again there they are and yes this is my first dip into the Brooks glycerin lineup just so you know I've never worn a glycerin before and this is the 18 and it is a neutral road running shoe okay let's slip it on here Ooh, ooh, ooh. And away we go. All right, first impressions, first steps. I can tell you immediately, just lacing up right now, that roomy toe box. So if you like a wider toe box, you might like this shoe, the Brooks Glycerin 18. All right, here we go. My gut is telling me this will be a daily trainer shoe, but we shall see. Just uh, putting, you know, pulling it out of the box. Okay. Feels good. Feels good. Roomy toe box. Heel feels good through the heel counter. Okay, the sun is out. Let's go. Okay, we're about halfway through and my enthusiasm for the Brooks Glycerin 18 was at a six coming out of the box. Let's just call it spade a spade. I'd say it's ticked up a notch to a seven. I really will. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the feel. Uh, but also a note, I probably could have gone a half size down. I'll confirm in the studio, so just keep that in mind. I went true to size, but just feeling a little loose again through that toe box. But that, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. But uh, I have a feeling I could have gone a half size down. All right, let's go. And we're back, and we're back. All right, Brooks Glycerin 18. There it is right there, putting it on the shelf. For all of you, first impressions in the studio. And listen, I have, I've got nothing against Brooks, but for some reason over the last, let's say, two years, Brooks has not made it into my running shoe rotation. Again, nothing against the company, nothing against uh, the shoes. There's just so many shoes to try out. The last Brooks that I tried, crazy, and where does the time go, was almost a year ago, the Brooks Ghost 11. And the reason I only ran in this shoe a couple times was because of the drop, a 12 millimeter drop in the Ghost lineup. It was just a little too high for me for a daily trainer. So I was a little, I don't know, skeptical. That's why I said I was at a six out on the run today, or sorry, in the unboxing of the shoe. But sure enough, it rose up to a seven on the run and I am excited about this shoe. A neutral road running shoe from Brooks, 10 millimeter drop. We're looking at 31 millimeter stack height in the heel, 21 in the forefoot. So in that medium to high stack height, as far as shoes are concerned, uh, and for weight, we're looking at 10.2 ounces in men's size nine, 
or 289 grams. Uh, so a little heavier, not too much, but a little heavier. And there it is on your screen in my size. And for the upper on the Brooks Glycerin 18, this nice blue upper, here's that word again. They're calling it a double jacquard. Oh, sorry, here it is on your screen. Double jacquard mesh. Um, and it was very comfortable, very plush upper. If you like plush, this is the shoe for you, meaning nice, good padding through the tongue and the heel counter. In fact, I loved the heel counter, especially I'm nursing the uh, I'm nursing the blister on my left Achilles tendon from the Asics Nova Blast. It gave me the uh, the blister, so I'm still healing that up. And sure enough, I think this uh, heel counter and heel tab on the Glycerin 18 is going to help with that. There is some overlay action going on, especially here through the heel counter. It's um, it's not a, it's not like the, it's not quite the ASICs as far as the, the stiffness of that um, heel counter, but there, it's definitely got some uniformity compared to, for example, the Skechers from yesterday. Uh, and oh, so, such an incredible lockdown feel uh, through the eyelet chain. Amazing, actually. Like, you, I, as I was lacing up outside, ooh, ooh, ooh. I just was like, okay, this feels amazing as far as the overall comfort of the upper. And onto that midsole, the 31 and 21 DNA Loft midsole foam. Shocking, shocking. Again, actually, the Ghost, it was, it, even though it has a pretty good stack height, it was a little firm through the landing for my preference. Uh, the Glycerin 18, softer. All right, a softer landing through that, uh, that this Glycerin 18 midsole. I loved it today. So very, I think, uh, I think Brooks is nailing it with respect to the midsole on this shoe. And for the outsole, so we have the exposed DNA loft midsole foam to help with the transition through your foot strike. Then uh, on the, under the forefoot, we're looking at blown rubber. Okay, this, this darker blue blown rubber. But then in the heel, they're putting in this HPR plus rubber. If you're more of a heel striker, and that's fine, uh, but that means your shoes might wear out a little quicker, especially in the heel area. So this HPR plus rubber, it's a high abrasion rubber, which means the, the lifespan should be quite a bit more, uh, I don't know how much more as far as miles, but more. That's why they put that high abrasion rubber through that heel there. For that fit, comfort, positive drawback so far, first impression, by the way, not my full review. First impression is the fit. I, I probably would have preferred to go a half size down only because I like a little more snug fit, especially through the toe box. But if you like your, your toes to splay out, meaning spread out a little more in the forefoot, then I would say go true to size. Comfort, amazing. Through the midsole, through the upper, amazing. All right, that's actually, let's, let's go there. Positive, 100% is the overall comfort of the shoe. Very, uh, again, going back to that one word of plush. Drawback, again, just a little wide for me. Uh, through the toe box. For my durability prediction, I'm gonna say 500 miles. That's my prediction. I think it can go the distance. Maybe more, you know, maybe 600. I don't know exactly, but uh, I'm I just there's a lot of uh, rubber on the outsole, which will help uh, with the lifespan of this shoe. Now, how will I use the Glycerin 18 moving forward, or who is this shoe best for? I will personally use it for easy days and steezy days, but I think this could accomplish quite a few tasks. I don't think I'd use it for a tempo day personally because of the weight, but I think you could take it out on a steady day or yeah, even a long run. Again, back to that weight wouldn't be my first choice for a long run, uh, but I will be using easy days and steezy days for the Glycerin 18. Now the one little hiccup in this first impression blog of the Glycerin 18 is the $150 price tag. I like that those daily trainer shoes to fall into that 130 category, maybe 140. So I think 150 is getting a little high for a daily trainer. Who knows what they're thinking. If it's maybe the, uh, the rubber on the outsole, they're thinking you're gonna be able to get more miles out of it. I'm not sure. It's not horrible, but I, I'd prefer to see that 130 to 140 range for the daily training. And with that said, I'll get you the full review after 50 miles. My gut's telling me we're gonna get to 50 miles in this shoe, 100%. And question of the day, I almost asked you, how was your race this weekend? But my guess is not many of us raced this weekend, right? All right, so therefore, how was your run this weekend, whether it was a long run, 
any type of run you did, where did you go, what did you do, what distance did you run, uh, tell us a story, tell us an adventure uh, down in the comments because I'm guessing once again that not many of us raced this weekend. There you go. We're going to call it there. Thanks for watching my first impressions of the Brooks Glycerin 18. And yes, I'm going to toss it back way, way back to the Brooks Ghost 11 right there. I believe, oh, I think it was about a year ago, Brooks Ghost 11 first impressions right there. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. You all are the best as always and have a great week coming up. I know it's Sunday actually when this publishes, but a great week coming up nonetheless. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.